Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening to all. My name is Les Brinkett, and we welcome you to our trade night. Thank you for accepting our invitation. May I introduce our managing director and owner of GMT, Mr. Manny Cobb. One of the things that I'm very proud of to let our customers know while we are discussing business is the fact that between the senior members of GMT, we have 150 years of lighting experience. At GMT, we have two technical lighting personnel, namely Perry Barden and Gavin Hill, with us here tonight, and later on they will be doing their presentation. A few words about our company, GMT. GMT Lighting was established in 1962 in the Melbourne suburb of Hawthorne. A Sydney office was opened in 1975. Both offices have since been providing a, an extensive range of lamps to a wide range of industries, including federal and state government departments, hospitals, commercial buildings, etc., etc. Our company has a strong belief in integrity, honesty, and family values. These values show through in our dealings by providing the best possible service and most, and most competitive prices. GMT, is a, GMT Lighting is a major distributor of top brands such as GE, Philips, Osram, Sylvania, Deluxe Light and Orbitec, and many more. Our clients are all over Australia, and lately we have been exporting to New Zealand and Singapore. GMT's reputation has been built on the range and quantity of the stock we have available. Specific requests, including non-catalogue -catalog items, will be met with our unwavering commitment to service. GMT is also very well known for having the largest range of lamps on hand. As the saying goes around our trade, if a lamp is difficult to obtain, call GMT, and they most likely will have it on stock or can get it for you. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's presentations, or rather our program for tonight, we will have a government regulations um, maps, the new convertible light globe, LED MR16 in 12 volt DC, IRC MR16, and finally, uh, after refreshments, we also have the door prize. In closing, may I welcome Sean O'Brien from GE and Peter Stevens, who are here with us tonight. They too will be doing their presentations later on this evening. May I also mention that after each presentation, we will have time for questions. Firstly, in the meantime, I now pass you over to one of our technical people at GMT. Gavin Hill, who will be talking to us about the current government regulations known as MAPS, M-E-P-S. Gavin? Thank you, Liz. Uh, as you can see, I'm going to talk about the government regulation uh, MAPS. Well, essentially, there are three different um, product groups that have been targeted by the government for MEPS. The first one will be the TLD and uh, the TLT5 technology. They were introduced uh, in 2004, and all the linear fluoros that you see around in, in the offices and the marketplace, they all must conform to um, MEPS. That's quite a mature market now, and most of the product uh, in the linear fluoros are registered on site at the government website under Energy Safe Victoria. 
The second group that's been targeted, which came out in November uh, last year, 2009, is the bare compact fluoro, known as the CFL. Uh, both ES and BC, and all the other bases, SBC and SES, they have to conform to um, MEPS regulations. They have a program in place that, in uh, progressing over time, that the reflector lamps and also the G125s also have to be MEPS regulated as well. well the product I'm going to look at tonight is the incandescent light bulb. Now, I'll just uh, explain what uh, MEPS stands for, which is Minimum Energy Performance Standards, and that's governed, uh, governed by the government, by Energy Safe Victoria. 